So this is our circuit. This area here is triangle wave generation. This BJT amplifier down here is to amplify the triangle wave to the proper level. Up here is a comparator, which is acting to create our actual PWM signal. And down here is our dead time circuitry using logic buffers. Now looking at the oscilloscope, you'll notice that we have the sine wave, which is our actual signal input to the comparator, and this is the comparator output. You'll notice that when the signal is low, there's a higher density of peaks in the output. When the signal's high, there's higher density of lows in the output. Then, if we look at both of the outputs from our dead time circuitry together, Meanwhile, this lets you demonstrate the basic behavior. So uh, you'll notice that in between each of our opposing waveforms, there is a small gap. So that gap is successful gen dead time generation and should prevent us from blowing our circuit up. And that should be good.